What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we're going to talk about a few things that you might have missed in-game. We've kind of talked about a couple of these topics here and there throughout other gameplay videos and things like that, but we haven't specifically talked about them all in one spot, so make sure you guys are aware of all these different systems. I mean, heck, you might be like, yeah, I just, I didn't realize this at all, and I didn't see that other video, so now I know. So, let's jump into it. There's about three things I want to talk about here today that you may or may not have missed. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. Let's jump right into it. So one thing while you're out in the world, you're running around, you'll see a couple things that are sparkly. There'll be some like bushes on the side that look similar to this. Those are things you can pick up. There's berries, there's a bunch of extra battles, which actually it looks like I even might've missed some on my own map, but look around and see what is around the map because you might actually have a full inventory of these blue or purple items. At first, when I started the game, I had no clue what these things were even for, and they don't really even describe what they do either. They tell you what they are, but not what they're used for, and these are actually used for the affinity system, but not only are these used for the affinity system, uh, there's also other ones in the friendship store that you can purchase with your pal coins that you get for helping others, your daily login. Uh, I would try to purchase this one every single day, the one that's 20% off, kind of leave the other two for the side if you guys want to do gestures for extra stuff then cool that's fine but we're talking mainly about these affinity items now beyond that there's actually something else you can do what you can do is click on every single hero three times a day yes one two three that's going to give you six affinity with a hero every single day on every single hero so if you're looking to min max this game oh lord i feel bad for you you can see the gold ones she's already maxed out on affinity but anyone who needs affinity still you literally need to do this every single day it's it's six affinity a day which you know isn't exactly super amazing uh but it is some progression beyond that there is the affinity button up the top here which will give you specific rewards you might actually have some affinity uh just completely unlocked for heroes you've been just using in combat right here i have 50 diamonds per hero almost just because of what i've done some of them i've maxed out i would not recommend maxing that hero out i would go 100 points into every single hero why 100 because 100 is the first tier of rewards essentially uh you're gonna get 50 diamonds at 100 so if i go down to a hero that i've like never really used let's just go to like seth for example well number one first thing i can do is go one two three get six on him again so i just started doing this the other day and then if you can get yourself up to 100 you send it to him you get 50 diamonds not too bad right well there's other tiers in this as well uh, was it Kruger that had a decent amount? No, Kruger's maxed out. Who is one that has a decent amount? So we got like 1,100. Well, if you do heavily invest to some of them, there are certain breakpoints in here. I think 1,000, you get an invite letter as well. So that's something you could probably be missing out on. But in reality, just going around to all your heroes, making sure you're clicking them, make sure you're just going into their affinity because you might have hundreds and hundreds of diamonds sitting around just from heroes uh that you've been using here and there in certain game modes you might not use them a ton but really getting to the first 100 is not bad because when you do go into combat and you win a fight too uh you're going to be getting like two affinity for like every combat they go in as well so you can see right here we have a few of them that are way high up that i haven't completely maxed out uh, other ones that we have because we've been using them a ton so they just naturally get maxed out and then we have other ones, like I said, down the bottom here that we don't use as often. We want to click their portrait three times. We want to check their affinity and see if we've gotten anything unlocked. Granny, I don't think I've really ever used Granny, but somehow I still have enough to get her rewards here. So again, clicking three times a day. If you're min-maxing, that's the way to go. I don't recommend it. It is very time-consuming, but if you got the time, you can get some of these heroes completely maxed out just from AFK clicking. So that's number one. That's going to give you tons of diamonds, and that's going to get you some invite letters as you progress them. 
So number two is going to have to do with the arena system. So we actually made a dedicated video on this, but not many people actually saw it from the looks of it. It's actually one of my like lower viewed videos. So we're going to just recap this quickly here. And if you did watch that video, awesome. If you didn't, you might be missing out on some stuff here. So one big confusing thing people have is they try to set up their team for every single map, but that is not how the arena system actually works. The arena system allows you to pick a single arena map to be your defense of map all the other ones are just choices because you notice your team gets moved around some really janky positions just pick one map and if you pick the map that you like the most you're going to get some good results like for my example this is the team i love running right here so that's what i want to do and i want to save it on that map formation because i like this layout a lot of time people put their heroes here i want reiner to swap them that is the first thing that is important beyond that there are additional attempts beyond the challenge number you see down the bottom here every single day me personally i get two more for free and no that doesn't have anything to do with vip that actually has to do something with the mystical house mystic collection so if you come in here this is where you get all your extra side bonuses there's nothing you need to actually do in here they're just notifications mostly but if you come over here to the victorious helm this is where you can see your extra free attempts you get extra refreshes per day you get additional arena coins but right here getting to elite one is the first checkpoint it makes your first a additional purchase costs zero diamonds yes completely for free beyond that you can get another one if and when you push to legendary one that gives you another free claiming so or actually this one i think gives an extra ticket and then this one's like arena ticket storage limit which yeah it's it's interesting there's a bunch of these here at legendary one and legendary two uh so legendary is not too bad to get to even as a free to play especially once people push to the champion tier and everything a lot of these spots become open but you might be missing out on free attempts every single day that you're just skipping uh click the challenge button see if it costs zero up here if you've gotten to the checkpoint you might have additional attempts which means more arena rewards which more importantly means more aporium purchases when you do get to the champion level as well you have the chance to buy some stellar crystals so keep all those things in mind they might help your progression and mainly your summons and your s levels now the last item is going to be pretty quick here because we've talked about it a couple times but every time i mention it i get a comment saying i didn't even know these things existed thank you for showing it to me so quick little thing if you've ever wondered where additional quests are you have to click on this little tiny book here if you click on this that's just going to try to teleport you to your current quest click on the book exclamation mark and this brings up your overall temporal journal so this has your main storyline quest and any side ones if you want as well uh you can even break it down by what zone you're in but if you've kind of cleared them out as you go that's really good however there is a second town quest tab over here and every 10 levels that you get of resonance on your account you're going to unlock additional town quests these are very very quick easy to do quests it's either kill really quick enemies they sometimes give you a bag where you have to like sort the bag and put the pieces like a puzzle in there other times it's a flip card game either way these give you a ton of extra hero essence i say a ton it's like 600 per uh 10 levels uh but that's going to definitely help you level up your heroes faster because you're going to need to get them wherever you want so make sure you guys are clicking up here uh you might wonder why it says new well you might actually have some town quests there's eight stages that we're on so far and they just keep on going you can see right here there's unlock stage Stage nine additional information we got to get our residence level up so yeah that's a couple of things you might want to keep in mind so hopefully some of these things helped you out a little bit additional resources to maybe do summonings or maybe just get more arena coins hopefully it helped you let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and i'll see you guys next time